Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to build a terminal user interface so that we can chat with the customer support chatbot that we built in the previous tutorial with the OpenAI Assistance API using the Knowledge Retrieval Tool. I'll show you an example in both Python and Node.js. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial, please do so, because this one is an upgrade of that one. It's mandatory because today, we will use the assistant that we created in the previous tutorial. Both the Python and Node.js examples that I showed you the last time are, to be honest, useless because you cannot chat with the customer support chatbot. The point of the previous tutorial was to show the basics of how to work with the OpenAI Assistance, API using the Knowledge Retrieval Tool. Today, we are going to build a terminal user interface. A terminal user interface is a less complex version of a user interface compared to a graphical user interface. It allows us to chat with a customer support chatbot in a terminal. If you remember, in the previous tutorial, the script was made so that every time you run it, a new assistant is created, and the file that serves as a knowledge base for our assistant is uploaded again. We don't need 100 identical assistants and an identical file uploaded 100 times. In this tutorial, we will use the assistant we created in the previous tutorial and the file we uploaded in the previous tutorial. As you can see, we set these two as environment variables. So create an env file and add both variables, open AI file ID and open AI assistant ID. You might ask, how do I get them? It's very easy. First, let's get the assistant's ID. In the sidebar, click assistance. Find the customer support chatbot and copy the ID you see here. Second, let's get the file's ID. In the sidebar, click files. Find the knowledge text file and copy the ID you see here. That's it. Now you have both environment variables. Add them to the env file. Let's go back to the code. This script is built in such a way that every time it's run, a new thread will be created. If you want to use the same thread every time you run this script, save the thread's ID and add it as a third environment variable. Don't forget to update the code wherever the thread ID is used. The main logic is based on a loop, meaning that when we ask an assistant, a customer support chatbot in our case, a question and get an answer, we can ask another one. This can go on forever, as long as we have questions to ask. Of course, we want to give the user the possibility to end the conversation with the customer support chatbot when he or she wants. If the user writes quit, the loop will break and the conversation will end. Now let's see the whole process. We get the user's question by using an input. Then the user's message needs to be added to the thread. Here we set four parameters. The first one is thread ID. The second one is role, which needs to be set to user. The third one is content, where we provide the user's question. And the fourth one is file IDs, where we provide a file that we want to get an answer from. Next, we need to run the assistant. This is a part where the customer support chatbot will be looking at the file and trying to answer the question. But this takes some time. We need to periodically check the run status to be able to know when the customer support chatbot has an answer. As you can see, I added delays here and here. I don't want to burn too many tokens, make too many API requests, and check for status every second. After all, OpenAI doesn't sponsor me with tokens. So first, we give the customer support chatbot 15 seconds, and then we will check the run status every five seconds. If the run status is completed, we want to show the answer. If the run status is queued or in progress, we want to keep checking on its status every five seconds. If anything goes wrong, let's say the status is failed, the loop will break. Now let's run the Python example. Let's ask what can I buy in your online store? Wait for the customer support chatbot to get an answer. As you can see, this is why this is called a terminal user interface. It's a user interface in a terminal. It's less complex than a graphical user interface, but we are still able to chat with the customer support chatbot. Great success. We got an answer. Let's end this conversation. Now, let's run the Node.js example. Let's ask the same question. 
Let me emphasize that the Node.js example follows identical logic. It's just a Node.js equivalent of the Python example. Feel free to look at it in my GitHub repository directory. You can find the link in the description below. Ta-da! Pretty amazing. Hmm? Before we end this tutorial, I want to warn you that the assistant might sometimes give strange answers like these. This is because Assistant's API is still in beta, and it seems that OpenAI has trouble keeping it reliable. Sometimes the assistant behaves like it's not able to access the files. If you run identical code later, everything will work. It's not okay, but I guess OpenAI is working on it. That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.